How are you seeing the defense sector going into 2024? Uh, Morgan just did a great job highlighting some of the geopolitical uncertainty. Yeah, so uh, Frank, she did a great job talking about the geopolitical challenges. That's going to increase global demand for weapon systems. Also, the commercial air travel, as it picks up, is going to require greater maintenance and also repair parts. So that's another positive for this industry going into uh, 2024. All right. So you have some uh, some of uh, the names that you own. We mentioned one of them, uh, Lockheed Martin. Give us a sense going forward in 2024. How do you see the outlook for that? Obviously, one of the biggest names when it comes to defense. Right. It's a trusted contractor for land, air, sea, cyber weapon systems. It also gets about 70 percent of its revenue from the U.S. government. And it has a very good uh, backlog, over $158 billion, that as the supply chain improves, is going to benefit from. Also, we rank it as top quintile for future performance. It has a 15 cents for free cash flow for every $1 invested capital. So it's top uh, decile for profitability. All right, so you're also looking at two other stocks. Um, Transdime, that's the one I couldn't say before. Also, General Dynamics. Yeah, so great. So Transdim is a company that re uh, pr uh, provides commercial and d defense replacement parts. It is doing quite well. This year alone, it's up 68%. But let's look at the valuation. It has a 21 times EBITDA, and that is actually in range for the five, last five years. So even though it's up 68%, it still has room to grow from at this point. General Dynamics is another company that uh, provides uh, uh, weapon systems such as the M1A2 Abrams tank. And so it's going to benefit as we get greater demand for global uh, weapon systems. All right. So you're clearly very bullish on the defense space. Morgan also laid out some of the tailwinds for defense. Is there anything that would make you less bullish on the space or maybe make you rethink your investments? Some things that will make me rethink the investment, if we look at the, um, for instance, Lockheed Martin, it gets 25% from its uh, jet uh, uh, products being uh, F-35. If we see some problems with the F-35 performance or production, that will give us reason to pause and really look at the stock closer. Uh, and so we will also look at, in this area of Transdyne, uh, for instance, they have a lot of merger acquisition. So if we see some problems with bringing that synergy from those acquisitions, that would be an area of concern for those companies that are doing a lot of merger acquisitions in the space.